Hello, type choice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a drop cap in Adobe InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've just created a new InDesign document and inserted some text right here. And let's say that we want to create a drop cap in this text. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. So the first thing you want to do to create a drop cap in your text is to actually select the text. And how do you do that? You want to go over to the left side on your screen in the toolbar and choose the type tool. You can also use the keyboard shortcut T. Then go over to your text and just click on it. And we are now actually ready to create our drop cap. So from here, we want to choose a panel and we want to go up in Window, choose Type and Tables, and Paragraph. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl, Alt, T. And this panel will now show up. In here, there is a lot of different options. And the two options we want to use in this video is these down right here in the bottom. And the first right here is actually the drop cap number of lines. So if we right now try to click on this up arrow, you can see that we are now creating a drop cap right here. And it is right now set to 2, which means that it is going over 2 lines. And if we set this up, 3 lines, 4 lines, and so on. Let's just set this to 2 lines. And the next option right here is that if we want the drop cap to be more than one character, so let's say that we want our drop cap to be, let's say, three characters instead of one, we can actually just click right here to add that. Just like this. So yeah, you can just customize your drop cap however you would like. And when you're happy with the result, you can actually just close this panel right here. And we have now added a drop cap to our text. So yeah, that is actually how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Never so for now. See you in the next one.